Good matchup on tap between our visitors and our home team. the former Cornhusker Brent Maher to get this one started. And off we go on EA Sports. to 10 Kelly it's incomplete took a shot couldn't connect he did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived and I've got to tell you you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach when you're going to get him sometimes you panic as well and think I've got to be there right now instead in this case timed it perfectly and knocked it free Throwing again on second and ten. Kelly. And he comes back with one complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big pickup of 38. Well, things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. And he was able to run free after the catch. Now a first down throw. Kelly. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Andrew and James. There to make the grab. And this offense takes the ball down the field and scores on their opening drive. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. When you have plenty of people who can catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target, and sometimes that target is actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And a man out of the backfield gets in for the score. So following the touchdown, here's the Miami kick team to send this one away. Fields this way up at the 17. Green and running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. him with third and nine looming.
From the gun, Frazier. Green's got it over the middle. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And this is picked up by the defense. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got... And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Looking for Green, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six. And just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visit. What do we hear during these drills? Oh, pass. pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. <laughs> that means everybody finds someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. Extra point by Badgley. Up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And he returns this to the 22. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, He's going to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount. Here's his opportunity. It comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I, I don't know where that comes from. It yeah. just kind of emerges out of me for some it's reason. It's deep in there, right? 14-0 <laughs> the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. They go play action here on first down. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. They'll contain him to just four, second down. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position. It's actually utilized more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it, but he's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put yeah, there. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there you might out of a smaller back. On second down, it's Green, and he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Where's 52? Watch 52. Looking to throw. Frazier. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Well, they opted not to run it. They completed the pass on third and two, but they lost yardage to bring up four. Well, give credit to the guys on the other side of the ball. They snuffed out the play, but it does bring into question one, the play call, because they didn't run the ball there. They could have run it. And two, just not getting it. That's got to be deflating for them. Too long for a field goal. Too short to punt that in-between range, and they'll go for it on fourth down. Back to throw. Frazier. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. A fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And as a result, possession switches hands. Three, 
Back out there for their next offensive drive. The Hurricanes get set. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here. They could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking, usually the best way to maintain control. Here's second and 10. Out of the gun, it's Kelly. James has got it, complete. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. First down. First down. First down. First down. On first down, it's Kelly. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Kelly. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. to throw Kelly and this time he's got the hookup it's complete and down inside the 15 shy of the 10 19 yards to pick up there move the chains now a first and 10 at the 11 here's Kelly Now he'll escape to his right. This will be caught at about the five. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the one-yard line. They'll try the left side. James. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. That was a third and somewhat manageable now, not so manageable. Exactly, because you had a play call on that you felt like, hey, this could go quick, and it doesn't take much to get it done. Now, you got to start thinking about a little bit of a deeper route type of a call, especially if you want to throw it. Now, after the false start, they need eight yards here on third down. Here's Kelly to throw. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. They went with the dive look that time on defense. Just flooded the field with defensive backs. Blanketed everyone. Took away all the passing angles. Thus, the incompletion. Badgley able to knock this one through. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. A 
final shot before break. Frazier, blitz coming and down he goes. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. A very one-sided first half, 17-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. And a short kick taking it about the 16. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. 44 is the mic, 44 is the mic. They'll keep it on the ground. It's green, looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. And know what they say, those guys on the other side, they get paid too. The fullback Janovich on the handoff. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. They'll try and throw for it here. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. They'll run on first down. It's James. He's able to get six. A nice pickup down to the 21. The last run got six. Now second and four. Now Kelly. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And a nice pick up there as he'll take it from the 10 down to the five yard line. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin too. And the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll keep it on the ground. It's James, and he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. They'll go with a keeper, and he is in. Touchdown, Miami. It's their quarterback keeping it himself from a yard out. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. Partner, that was simply an example of getting low, wasn't it? It was indeed. And for the quarterback, so they get low the line. They did their job. Is the quarterback's job just to find a crease and dive? Find a crease and just get in there. And ordinarily, you start low yourself, get low behind that offensive line. But sometimes they do such a great job, you can almost fall forward and find the crease for a touchdown. Yeah. 
So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Green. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. He lost two and it brings up fourth. Here's Sam Cook now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's the University of Miami. Their offense ready to get the drive started with this lead and the football. Things obviously looking good, but maybe... Yeah, you've taught me this before. Maybe this is where the defense is hoping that the offense helps them preserve that shutout that they've got going. And it has to be in the minds of the offense that they know how rare it is to get a shutout. So take care of them. Protect them. Take care of the ball. Move it downfield. Run the clock down. You don't want your defense to have to go on the field again the rest of the game. Reward them. They'll keep it on the ground. James. And the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. He finds his man complete. That's James. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground. James, and able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Kelly. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. That one looks like he'll throw here. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. 
They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school. And a loose football. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. And this is going to go the other way. The defense has it. But he has been a workhorse for them in this game. And ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it, when he's going to... And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. They'll try and run for it. Mike, camera, action. Showtime, baby. And this winds up a disaster. Nowhere near the marker. Cute face, nice. But she's scheming on alone. I just cut to the chase. Ask her, do you want the... New friends, no way, they be scheming for the dough. Ring the bell, I open up, see they face.